morning. Good morning. How is everybody? I'm doing all right. <laughs> Your energy's back, Eileen? Uh, I mean, kind of. <laughs> Good. Well, kind is better than not at all, right? For sure. That's true. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I got to get smart about this screen share, new share. Where is it? Somebody teach me how to do. <laughs> um, I had screen share just perfect a second ago. Can you see that? Yes. Team meeting notes, October 21st? Yes. Yes. You can. Okay. Well, uh, wow. I guess I can't. <laughs> um, and I believe I'm recording the meeting. Let me make sure I am. Okay. It looks like it's recording. Well, welcome. Uh, Josetta obviously is in St. Louis and she's not going to join us. And Wendy's on her way to a memorial service, so she won't be joining us. Um, I hear Parker's footsteps coming upstairs. He's been here for a while. Um, and so even though Wendy isn't here, don't touch my coffee. I your keys yeah. <laughs> um, welcome back, Wendy. It's nice to have her noise in the salon. And I noticed it was noisier with her here. So, um, Rob, you cracked me up when you and Sarah were talking at dinner when you said, well, it's a lot quieter with us. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll it'll definitely get louder and uh we probably should still look into a headset for our phones maybe eileen what do you think yeah like yeah, bose for that <laughs> bose can't noise canceling um yeah so stylus canceling headset for sure thanks um so anyway and then i don't see i think laura is supposed to be here is she not <gasps> Uh, yeah, she's. She on, I don't see her. To be, she might not be coming in if you guys, if there's no clients. Uh, yeah. First thing, but. Okay. Well, you know, and I don't see her on this Zoom meeting, so. So we can talk about her. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, she's <laughs> taking a job with a company where she will be doing uh, creation of avatar using her voice. Uh, sounds really cool. Um, and so. The 11th of November is her last day here, and we'll be working on. Hey, hey, we'll be working on some. Yes, Good come morning. on in, come on in. That was a beautiful. Sorry for my ADD, but that was a beautiful video of Kamani yesterday. Oh, oh, thank you. Can you guys see me? Because I can't see myself. Well, we can see you. You look beautiful. So thanks. Oh, well, I just woke up. I just rolled out of bed. Good. Well, I wish I could look that good rolling out of bed. <laughs> forever. Yes, forever. Uh, the cheerleading section going on there. So anyway, did we lose some people? Let's see who's here. Hey, Bella. Yeah. Um, everybody... If they don't already know, today is her final test day, her graduation day, or excuse me, her graduation day. Oh, yeah. So, nice. Graduate at three. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. What are you going to do to celebrate? I'm going to a haunted house tomorrow. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to fear PDX, I think. I think that's the name. I'm not sure. You know, is that the kind of thing where they will take your picture like during the scariest part? So your face is all like, Bleh! no, but I do know they'll chase me with chainsaws. Oh man, <laughs> don't get, don't get chopped up by a chainsaw. Yeah. That would be a terrible way to celebrate your graduation. I've always wanted to do uh, bang trims with chainsaws. Wow. <laughs> just, just cause. Wow. We could do that on Halloween with that. Anyway, so. 
Uh, for those of you that didn't already know, I think we've been talking about it. We have a price increase um, that is an inflation adjustment that goes into effect on Monday. Uh, we've got a newsletter format set out um, that I'm look, I'm asking several eyes to look on Cheryl and Eileen and Parker. Eileen, did you happen to see that test email that came through? Yeah, it got stuck in my spam filter. So I saw it at like 1030 last night. I did reply to it. So let me know okay, if you didn't awesome. get that. Awesome. Yeah, we'll send that out today. Um, we have remain, some remaining gift certificate packages, um, maybe 23 left. You're supposed yeah, to know this. Second page, so we're getting right. Close. And so some of the people who haven't had those in the past may benefit from that for sure. Um, and we can fill up. We're, we usually offer 80 and sometimes we do 65 and 70. And so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we just want to go over I, what I'm going to ask everybody to do that's doing color is to cross check one another on if you're charging properly, because uh, we're getting inventory eaten up if we charge for two ounces of color when we've used six. Uh, that, that kills our, our budget for buying color. And so we just want to make sure we're doing that right. And we found a couple of instances where uh, a lot was used and not charged for. So uh, converse with your guests if you have been undercharging. Um, um, I, I don't want to do penalties, but it's penalty enough to not charge for what we're using as far as add-on extra color. So please watch that very carefully. Um, we do have a referral program running. Um, in the last six months, we've seen in excess of 170 brand new guests into the salon. Uh, which I'm grateful for. I think some of them were going to salons that closed or their stylist retired or whatever the case. Um, Sarah, how many guests have you done in the last 30 days that are new? Well, that's probably why they are coming to the salon now that I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. No. <laughs> yeah, they said, I, we heard it's quieter over there at Wadsworth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... A cl some clients will be eligible that are referring people uh, this month and next month to win a $200 gift certificate. Um, and so one of the common questions is, well, will it, we be paid for the redemption of that gift certificate? And the answer is yes. So, um, but talk it up. I surely Fuse was in last night. Um, and so a client that Sarah has been doing for quite a while and we had a good time. She used to come to Edward back in the old days, uh, even when I had hair. So she said, do you know Susan Scahan? I went, yeah, out of the blue. I know her. She was the key bank person that got us hooked up with our SBA loan for the Academy. She said, well, I'm really good friends with her. I said, tell her to get her butt in here for a haircut. She's been promising that for four years. So anyway, that's one way to get people to come in is tell them to get their butt in here. <laughs> get, so, your butt. get your butt in here and your head too. So we can do the hair. Sometimes you got to be uh, assertive. So does anybody that's on this um, Zoom meeting that accepts appointments know how many new guests they've had in the last 30 days? Crickets. I don't. Crickets. Crickets. It would be just Rob, right, on this call? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Uh -uh. Yeah, I, I, my recommendation is go back and look. I've had seven new guests in the last 30 days. Um, I've and, had quite a few. I know that. Yeah, and, I've had and at least three. Yeah, there's. It's it's been it's been insane in a good way of all the times to start seeing brand new clients. Who would have thought? But we're getting really, really, really good reviews. So um, that's really nice. So I'm going to ask: do, Should we do a year-end retail sale? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Okay. I'm open to suggestions on the specificity of that. Yes. Uh, everything 25% off. <laughs> um, as long as we don't pay commission. Yeah, that works. We, we got an extra deal on the surface, which is why we were able to do 25. 20 is oh, okay. 20 is well, then, pushing it. Then, then 20. Yeah. 20 all but erases any margin. I mean, close, you know, pretty yeah. close. Especially well, isn't that what we usually do every year? 
We yeah. well, we I have that's the max. We have done it frequently, and um, I think we might have done it last year. It, last year was weird. I, I'm trying not to remember much of last year. I don't know about the rest of you, but um, this year it's looking better uh, overall. But yes, Rob, uh, I think 20% has been pretty standard, and oh. that's a good. That's a nice end of year, you know, discount offering. It it that's just that's why we don't usually go higher than that, just because. There's, gotcha. almost, there's almost no margin after that, right. you know. So, Sounds if we good. were just if we were just a retail outlet and we were just in business for ourselves and not paying any kind of commission, we could do that. Well, right. and buying in much bigger volumes with yeah. a lot more shelf space. Right. <laughs> if we bought like Amazon, oh, yeah, this is not on the notes, but Sarah Bostwick uh, ordered some men's bars, Redken cleanse bars from Amazon, and got them the next day. We haven't been able to get but two in the last seven weeks. Freaking beast pesos. Yeah, and so I sent a picture of the batch number of the bar, one of the bars that Sarah bought and sent it to Erin uh, Pilo at uh, Salon Centric because she's kind of the big boss for L'Oreal. And she's gonna get back to me when she traces the origin of that batch number because I wanna know where those, they're coming from. Because Amazon should not have that if they're if L'Oreal maintains that you can only buy it from salons, except if Jeff Bezos orders $2 billion worth of product. So um, it's a little irritating, but just we might find something out we didn't know. So I hope, I hope, I hope. What about, um, is Olaplex back in yet? The, uh, the big leader back bar? Haven't seen it come in yet. No, we've, we've been waiting for that. We did get some retail size Olaplex yesterday, but none of the others that are on back order. I've been keeping that flagged for sure. We have a purple back bar Olaplex shampoo yet, or I, I haven't been there. No, they came out with a new purple shampoo. Right. Right. And we've got a smaller size of the purple shampoo on the back. Oh, okay. Um, so re this was something, we got a five-star review last night from a client named Ruth Kramer, who was rescheduled twice with Jennifer. I thought Jennifer would be on this call. I hopefully she's on her way in. Um, and why she gave it five stars? Well, let me let you read it. Yeah. Can you see that? Everybody see that? Okay. Yep. Okay. Majorly miffed. I thought that was a cool compliment until I started. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so after reading, I'll let you all read it and tell me when you're done. Yep, that's irritating. Well, it, and it is irritating. And I remember when I had pericarditis, when Parker wasn't even born yet, but he was hanging out in Cheryl's tummy. And I missed so much work. And I had so many of my clients go to somebody else. They finally got fed up because I didn't know how I was going to be feeling in the morning with a heart pain and a chest pain that does interfere. So uh, clients don't have to be understanding. We're grateful when they are. Uh, but I just wanted to ask when these unusual circumstances happen. Um, I know I'm always willing and available to fill in if somebody's out like that. So do we have a front desk specific procedure? Because it's been so weird lately. I mean, we've had so many uh, well, times out. The so. problem with color is like, no one's like ever available for color pretty much. Right, so but this, this is a haircut. It wasn't oh, yeah well this one was at like seven o'clock at night i do remember when this happened right. and there just there right. wasn't anybody else here right um and she couldn't come in earlier so we couldn't offer her like an earlier spot in the day right. with you right. um yeah if they're later that doesn't make it more difficult 
appointments and just, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's just hard when there's nobody. I mean, we do try to offer same day appointments with somebody else if there's somebody available, but it's just depending yeah. on the appointment, there's not and, always somebody. And in weird cases like that, obviously it can't do that if it's color, but just ask me and see, because I would, if I was not here and it was seven o'clock, I would come back just to see if we could help her. And um, so I'll reach out today or maybe when Jen gets here, she may reach out and have an option um, and an apology and like it's again it sucks and nobody likes that if I had a dentist appointment canceled two or two times or more or one or two times when I'd scheduled myself to be there and had to teach with long bangs I would be so pissed if my bangs were long when I was working you'd look good with just long bangs Don yeah just bangs um could, <laughs> with your eyelash stuff can you hook me up with something like that <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, it'd probably be good because then Jen can decide how much right. she wants to share with Ruth about right. what's going be on. Because her. we have to be very protective. Yeah. If someone is rushed to the emergency room, we will tell them that there was an emergency and the person had to leave, but we can't share medical information about our employees with just anybody. It's, I mean, they can. Like Wendy was very, very um, open and candid and said, like, tell the clients what's going on. But without permission, I, I'm not gonna do that. That puts us in a weird position. And so. it doesn't change the fact that Ruth had this experience. Oh, right, you know? right. So, so this is, you know, it's real life and it happens. Um, mm. She, the only person that's upset is her. I'm not upset. I just know that weird stuff happens and we try to do our very, very best. So we'll, we'll give Jen an option to see what she's able to do and if she can share a little more information which might calm her down. Um, and then go from there. And just so you'll know, when someone writes a review like this, it's not published until I say it's published. So just for information's sake, this one will not be published. But it's five stars. But it's five stars. <laughs> Maybe she thought it would make her attention. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she thought it was the opposite rating. Right. Uh, or, Maybe or, she or, was trying to be... How mad am I? She was trying to make a point. <laughs> she what was, was that? probably like, um, oh, they'll, if it was five stars, people will read it. So she put oh, five you know what though? Is does it automatically do five stars unless you adjust it? No. Okay. No. Who knows? No. We won't, we won't ask. But that's what she was like. I'll put it five stars, and then people will read it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Trojan horse. All right. I love right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, once we get the answer, I could post that, and because you can respond, and the response is also posted on there too, which is nice. We do that same thing at the academy because. I, I wouldn't post that one. Right. <laughs> yes. I could put a big red X through it and then post it. No, yeah, reject. <laughs> reject. My schedule here. Five stars. Just major. With hands doing this. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for letting me share that. Where are we? I don't know where I am. There we go. Um, client pathways. This technically I'm targeting, so this could be a sexual harassment case. I'm targeting the men in here that use the stools that I'm sitting on right now. Um, I discover that I often leave mine right in the pathway of Josetta and the clients. And I see on the other side of the room, the two gentlemen that work over there also leave those out right in the middle of the pathway. Please, for injury sake and, and politeness, pull them away when you're done. Because if you're sitting down, it's just like I'm unconscious about a lot of stuff that I do, which I think guys can be. Speak for yourself. Did I hear an amen Quiet. over there? I think no. Laura just, <laughs> but it's true. Quietly. Quietly. Yeah. So I can just get up and walk away, and the chair's just sitting there. And then Josetta says, Would you just move the chair, please? So for everybody's safety sake, please. Um, sharing was paused. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. We anyway. still hear you. Okay, good. But and can you still see the screen? Yeah. It says sharing is paused, but I don't know what that means. Um, so anyway, be please please be conscious of that. So, and then lastly. Today's the last day of payroll, and it's going to be a lean payroll because there's been a lot of 
openings and stuff like that. So not as lean as mine. Well, and we're great. Whatever. You've got a fat baby in your arms. Yeah. Ain't nothing lean about that. No, that's <laughs> There's nothing lean about that, baby. Yeah. Um, and and we're grateful that you can spend that time with your new son. So we miss we miss you, but it's like Shirley and I were singing your praises yesterday. Um, he, is he just like super chill all the time? Yes. <laughs> he like doesn't do anything and he's like, sleeps. He's like, what's up? All the time. I'm a baby. Yeah. That's all you need to know. He just cries when he's hungry. That's it. Yeah. And gassy. Like, just like Hashim. Yeah. <laughs> I, I cry when I'm hungry. You know? <laughs> yeah. Why not? So, okay. Yes to the, I tried really do try to keep this thing it's home but i know right. it's sometimes when you're in right. a rush it's not so yeah it's just so practice yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah right yeah. slide it back, <laughs> slide <laughs> it back. <laughs> but but don't get up so fast that you fall on your butt like i did at the academy that was embarrassing because i was enrolling a student some of you have already heard the story and <laughs> we have we, you haven't heard it but i know that you're laughing so that's good um we have glass tables in the admissions office and i bent over to pick up a little paper clip that i've uh, dropped and my chair just came out from under me and I slid and I was sitting on the ground looking up through the glass at Audrey who's the student that I was enrolling and my face was red I bruised the bottom of my arm which I didn't even know for a few days um, and she said are you okay and I said I'm embarrassed I think I'm okay I, how did that happen so quickly and like, she, she didn't laugh I know she wanted to I was kind of laughing and a little dazed at like what the heck just happened um, and then I went on to kind of cover my tracks and said, typically we do this to see if you would still want to attend the school after seeing the admissions director fall on his ass. So, <laughs> Anytime an adult falls down like that. It was not pretty. It wasn't. How long so, did you lay there? About 10 minutes? It took forever to get up. It was like, I can't hold on to anything. Somebody throw me a rope. It was awful. Yeah. It was crazy. So anyway. But I survived, and that concrete is hard to sit on. So, okay, anybody have anything that they want to bring up? Questions, comments, concerns? We already talked about you. Uh, yeah. Has Cheryl ordered all the holiday uh, retail stuff? Because I know those oh. had to be ordered pretty early. Yeah, she's, she's talking with Carrie and Jill and uh, Sydney. Oh. Hey, when do you come back, Sarah? November or December 1st? December. God. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> Rob, we'll get, we'll get you earplugs. Like, earplugs well, on December, December 1. December, December 1st. That falls okay. on a Wednesday, I think. Okay. And oh, Rob misses you. Yeah. We I miss know you. he does. Yeah, we all do. Um, and just, I know you're in good shape and you, you will probably be tired because your days are slam bang for sure. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Shirley booked, uh, I think the balance of the year with you yesterday. Isn't, didn't she, Bella? Bella? Yeah, she did. Okay. She good. booked until like May, I, right. I think. All right. So. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So you're saying I can't quit then? Well, you can. Don't, just don't have another baby <laughs> yeah. right away. But we'll be sending people to your house. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, I'm through unless anybody else has anything. Um, Bye. Yes. And <laughs> this is, oh, yeah, this is Laura's yeah. last, last team meeting that she knows about. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what? <laughs> well, because you heard that she got a job with a voice as doing voiceover stuff like a no. av avatar yeah oh yeah he said he oh. announced it yeah my last she might have just november signed 11. november 11 right sorry i'll let her yeah oh my gosh i had no idea it's yeah. a it's a cool well, gig it is a really cool well, gig. We're, congratulations and i need to know more what what is this gig um so it's a i'll be working remotely and i'll be a simulation specialist so basically i'm running scenarios for CEOs, managers, teachers, um, running them through different scenarios and so they can learn how to handle things better, like with better empathy. And then we go over the scenario afterwards on like how they think it went. Um, and I'll be voicing avatars. 
So I'll play all sorts of people, including children. Oh my gosh, that is yeah. so cool. Yeah. Congratulations. It's totally down your alley too. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot of improv acting stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats. I mean, I'm super sad to see you leave, but I know I, you won't even be here. <laughs> it's a big, it's a huge company too. It's all across the US, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You can, people work all over the country. Right. So. Oh, that is so awesome. The skills that you've built here, you're going to translate right into that. Oh, like every job I do is like a perfect mishmash of this one. Yeah. Uh, oh, that is so cool, Gloria. Congratulations. Thank you. That is awesome. Awesome. All righty. So you're back on the hunt then, Don, for, or Eileen? <laughs> yeah, no, we've, we've got some discussions happening already, so. And we have Bella too, so we gotta we right. gotta we gotta duplicate some people here. <laughs> right. And, I was and to call myself before. Yeah. Sarah, were you on the call? Were you on the Zoom when we said that Bella's uh, graduation day is today? Yes. Okay. Yes, she's gonna go to the haunted house. To oh, that's right. That's right. Haunted house. That was a long yeah. time ago. I mean, I can't remember things that long ago. So. Well, good job, Bella. Congratulations again. Yep. Good job, Bella. Thank you. Thank you. Ethan, thanks for talking so much. <laughs> little chatterbox over here. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> At least now we know you're not asleep. Yeah, that was that was too 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 many words. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Okay, onward and upward. Yeah, uh, work to do. And don't forget, did I already say last day of the pay period? Don't forget to update your timesheet if you missed the check in or check out, especially you, Sarah. Okay. Yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Uh, okay. Love you all. Bye, Take guys. care. Bye. See you sometime. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.